guys, what's up? Sherry here from No Fucks Given Crew. What's up? Sherry here from No Fucks Given Crew. How's it going? Happy 2019. I hope you guys all had a great holiday. Um, I just want to thank you guys for all of you who ordered some readings from me over the holidays. I really appreciate it. It was awesome. Um, so it kept me busy for a little bit, but that's exactly what I want. I'm so happy to be back doing the private readings, connecting with you guys again. Um, what else I want to mention? Oh, um, I'm keeping last year's format for the prices and the layouts. Uh, so the prices haven't changed. They're going back to last year's. Um, also, there's going to be a discount for anybody who is Patreon or returning customers. Um, I haven't really factored that in yet, but I will. Um, so just make sure you guys let me know that you've ordered a reading before, and then I'll, I'll try and figure out the price after that. So yeah, if you guys want to order a reading, now is a great time. I'm all caught up now. Uh, and you guys are getting your readings after 24 hours, so that's awesome. And what else did I want to say? Um, oh yeah, for 2019, um, if you reduce <clears throat> the 19, it's 9 and 1. So that's a 1, right? 10, 1. So what I'm kind of picking up with that is a year of personal growth, um, oneness, um, you know, if you are in a karmic relationship, that might also mean that you guys are going to be splitting as well. So it's, I feel it's a time for the individual to grow because next year is 2020, right? So that's two. So that's a union energy. So a lot of twins might be coming into union at that time. So yeah, and thank you so much for all of your support in terms of the book. I am so excited about it. I have uh, people reading it right now and the feedback that I'm getting from it is just, uh, it just makes me so excited. It's exactly what I wanted because I was able to answer, you know, what consciousness is from a scientific perspective. And, um, yeah, so I can't wait for it to get out and, and the cards as well. So yeah, um, it's coming as a package deal. So, you know, it's nerve wracking, but awesome. Okay guys, so I'm sending you massive love and um, I hope you enjoy this week's Twin Flame reading. All right, cheers. Darn it. <laughs> I can't believe I wasn't recording. Oh, that sucks. Okay, ladies, I was doing your reading and I guess I wasn't recording. That sucks. Um, the first two cards I, I picked were the 1111 card and the Page of Wands. So I have to put them back in the deck. All right, so we're doing a crystal ball for um, January the 7th until the 17th. This is the yin reading. Um, so crystal ball is um, five by five grid. There's a distant past, recent past, present, um, near future, and final outcome row. Four cornerstone cards, which carry the heavy weight in the reading. And then one center card from Message from the Universe. That really seriously sucks. Oh, well, let's see what Spirit has to say. So beginning again, first cornerstone card. Well, it is an ace. So it's kind of reflecting that same energy of the 1111 card and the Page of Wands. There was this new beginning. Um, the seed of intention is set there. So the Ace of Pentacles is abundance, um, an offer, um, you know, that seed is being planted. It's generally a very good card. Next. Nice. Four of Wands. Yeah, Spirit. Look at you. So I kept up the Four of Wands from the Twin Flame reading there. So here it is again. 11-11 and an Ace. So Spirit delivered. Um, so this is you and your twin sitting in front of that crackling fire, feeling commitment, feeling togetherness, feeling oneness in the 4D, um, and feeling like you have your whole life set out before you, but yet you feel completed. So that's crazy. 
All right, next. Wow, another uh, one. This is a Ten of Swords. So um, in the Twin Flame reading, the Feminine had the Nine of Swords. And so there was this, you know, these thoughts that, that have been stirring around in your head. But the Ten means that it's an end to that. It's completion. Um, the end of the Dark Night of the Soul. So the Feminine has really... Um, completed some major um, event in their life and it, it's made them feel connected um, I'm almost kind of feeling for some people there was an offer made and the pan like the feminine kind of panicked and and maybe stopped it um, out of fear so that's just a sub message I'm getting okay next wow <laughs> the six of cups that's crazy because the twin flame reading this is basically the, the center card um, the main card that the feminine started off with and this is coming in the distant past so a reunion desiring to reconnect with your twin flame um, Putting an end to fears is what I'm feeling. So there might have been a reconciliation for some of you guys. Final cornerstone card in the bottom there. So, wow, the uh, Queen of Pentacles just showed up in the masculine side for the Twin Flame reading. Um, so this is success, feeling, um, feel, feeling like you have a lot to share with other people. Uh, this is creating a beautiful home, very grounded energy, very successful. So, as a cornerstone card, the feminine has really been um, focusing on an opportunity and really feeling a loving connection with the twin flame, possibly reunited. But I'm thinking there's a desire to reunite. The reunite, the reunion, is connecting it's gathering um, you know form in the past because remember the overall energy is the four of wands so you're, you guys are still in that energy all right so recent past queen of no fucks given so the feminine has been really putting herself out there um, she's in the spotlight she has taken that opportunity and she's moving forward with it um, she's feeling passion and desire especially with the four of wands there as well um, it's fueling her fire it's giving her um, the courage the confidence in order to con continue to do what she was meant to do to make her light shine um, and this is somebody who doesn't back down, who's not afraid of challenges, who um, actually feeds on it, who desires it. And you can kind of see that with the Twin Flame reading. She had the Night of Fire um, in that moment, but it was like she was holding herself back from really putting herself out there and shining her light. Okay, next is the Three of Pentacles. So this is a firm foundation. Um, the Ace of Pentacles has grown into the three. So this is success. This is starting to see the fruits of your labor. So what I'm seeing with this, with the Four of Wands there, is that um, this feeling of stability and groundedness and connectedness and commitment is still there. And it is empowering her. It is fueling her. Three of Swords with the Ten of Swords. Okay, so she made a decision to stop something or cut something out of her life, but in the recent past, it was kind of still playing out. It hurt her or hurt somebody else. Um, but ultimately, you know, it's almost like I desire this union. I desire this commitment I desire reconciliation and she's working towards that goal and she's still working towards it she's still you know she feels stable she feels momentum but it, her heart is still hurting 
um, there's still some pain that she's holding on to because something was cut out. It could be the twin flame connection. There was an opportunity for them to come together. Maybe she decided not to, and now she's feeling sadness in her heart for it. Yep, Five of Pentacles, feeling alone, feeling disconnected, feeling left out in the cold. Um, so, feeling like she has no one to turn to. But, again, there's a sense that she's taking it one step at a time, moving forward. Two of Pentacles. So this is a change in her environment. So that Ace of Pentacles has taken root. The foundation is solid, but there's still a shift and change. Things are very unsettled for the feminine in 3D. She is very creative, very passionate about something and trying to manifest it, but she feels being pulled in different directions or like she just can't keep a handle on things. Remember, you are the Queen of Pentacles. That's a very successful card. It's, um, it shows me that you, you know, have accomplished so much in your life already, and so you are grounded. You are stable. So something like this shouldn't really upset you that much. Um, you know, especially with the Queen of Wands there as well. So in the recent past, the feminine's stability or foundation has been shaken. All right, so present moment, we have the Six of Pentacles. So this is somebody who is offering help. Um, maybe they offered help in the past, and that, that help is coming back again. So that Pentacle is growing. You had a little bit of a setback, but you're back in the game. Nice. The Chariot, taking control of your life grabbing those reins, making shit happen, focusing on that goal and going for it. All right, and again, that was a theme that was coming up in the Twin Flame. Um, yeah, there's this electric, you know, electricity that's kind of like starting to well up within the feminine. And the message in the Twin Flame reading was to harness it, to use it in a non-destructive way. So, because it's below the Four of Wands and the Three of Pentacles, it's like the feminine has decided to open herself up to the connection, make some changes, make some decisions that will free her. Okay, the next card is from the universe, Page of Cups. So the universe is saying to express your love, communicate, Feel love, feel um, that creative energy, right? This is the muse, so they inspire artists. Um, just be in that loving vibration and give love to everybody. But more importantly, you felt a disconnect and a pain and loss in the past, and the universe is saying to express yourself, move forward. Sacral Chakra. So again, this is an emotional card. These are all water cards here. So um, you're, you're feeling emotional instability. There's a blockage. Uh, and you can easily free yourself. I know you're feeling alone. You're feeling heartbreak. But it's, it's almost like you guys are both on this island. You know, self-imposed prisons. Um, separateness even though there's so much love between the two of you so at the moment you're dealing with a, an emotional blockage next ten of pentacles so this is a long-term goal manifested it's that ace of pentacles is now a ten in the present moment you're moving forward towards that goal it is within reach um, this is also leaving a legacy it's below the Queen of Pentacles and Two of Pentacles, so where you felt shaken, it's now grounded. The Six of Pentacles is, you know, reciprocation. It's, it's sharing of energy. So you're opening up, you're moving forward. There's an emotional blockage there, but 
the universe is telling you that the emotional blockage is standing in your way of fully manifesting the Ten of Pentacles, but it is within reach. It's a very similar energy to the Four of Wands up there. All right, next, near future, the Star card, wish granted. Um, so you will be moving into a healing energy in the near future. Um, you'll feel like things have are starting to work out. Um, You feel hopeful towards the future and yeah, just that the worst of, is over. Your dreams are starting to be fulfilled. Wow, the Ace of Cups. Okay, so this straight line here is telling me that you're really moving towards love. You're manifesting love. You are clearing the, the cobwebs. Um, this card only shows up when you're ready to receive love, and it, it does represent true love. So it looks like the feminine is moving towards this. Now, on the masculine side, he also got this card, and it seems to me like he wasn't, he was more like ready for it, rather than moving towards it, it was like more of a readiness. It came to him, um, whereas here, here I see... You kind of, the feminine kind of moving towards her or opening herself up and then the universe responds with love as well. Let's see what the rest of the cards say. The hermit. Okay, so this is telling me that the, the feminine has purposely isolated herself in order to um, dis, dis, disconnect from the 3D reality. She, she... She's on a mission to manifest a long-term goal, and she's focusing on that. And even though there's been heartache and pain, you know, from the loss of the connection in the past, she's moving on. She's dealing with it, even though she thinks about it every day. Um, now, this could be her coming back from solitude. King of Pentacles. Wow, the King and Queen of Pentacles with the... Whoa. <laughs> God, that scared me. That's my computer. Sorry about that. Um, I just want to make sure we're... Yeah, we're co recording. Okay. Red light's still going. Okay. Um, the King of Pentacles. Near future. So maybe that's the masculine coming out of solitude. Showing himself in the 3D because it's with the Ace of Cups and the Star card. Wish granted. So... The energy you're moving into, feminines, is one of love, one of detachment, and as a result, there's this magnetic attraction of the masculine, possibly in the 3D. Um, this is a provider, somebody who's a father figure. Um, you felt an emotional disconnect and desired them in the past, so maybe that's what's happening. All right, next, Seven of Swords. So this is not being able to trust, this is um, feeling stabbed in the back, feeling like someone's sneaking around. So the red flags, you know, cards kept on showing up on the masculine side, maybe this might be coming from him, I don't know, and possibly you too as well. You're questioning. Um, Yes, it is safe to love. You deserve love. I'm, I'm trying to remember what the Twin Flame reading was for you guys. Um, um, it's like you weren't sure about something. You're questioning the connection, even though there is a desire to, to reunite. You're kind of holding back. And um, that's kind of what I'm seeing there, too. It's like this holding back, this feeling love, a desire to move forward, feeling hopeful about the future, but just questioning something. All right, final row, cornerstone card. Another ace right below the other ace over here. There's three aces in this reading. So ace of fire is go like, go time. It is thrust forward. It is... Um, making a decision and moving very swiftly on it. It's a new start, usually it has to do with spirituality, it, it's kundalini awakening. 
So as a cornerstone card, there is going to be the go light, go time, a start, decision to start, to move forward. Page of Pentacles is somebody sitting down, making plans for the future. Uh, could also be communication. You've got two pages so far. Um, but this is making a commitment. Again, it's in this row of true love and twin flame and moving forward. So I think in the twin flame reading on the feminine side, there was a sense that you started to really sit down and do some hard work and planning, focusing your attention on uh, achieving your goal finally, once and for all. Okay, next, nice, destiny, another 10. So what goes around comes around. So when this card shows up, you want to look in the past. Well, what was that that I'm dealing with? Um, now, remember the four of wands is the overall energy. So we're, we're like, what goes around comes around. Something's returning. Usually when the card shows up, it's a good thing. So whatever this was, it's done. We got the Ten of Swords, Three of Swords, the Page of Cups, and the Solitude or the Hermit. You ended something, it hurt, you are dealing with an emotional blockage, you withdrew in order to really seek some answers, and because you've done that, this will come back to you in a good way, and of course we see that all the Aces, you know, starting to cluster in your future. All right, next, Two of Swords and Decision. So this is somebody who can't move forward. They can't make that choice. Um, and if you look to the back, we see that sacral chakra, feeling alone, wanting to be reunited, right? So something in the past is holding you back. You want something. Um, you're working towards it. There's these opportunities all over the place for this new beginning. Whether or not you choose it, let's see. Nice. Yes, you choose it. This is a resounding yes card. The sun is the most positive card in the deck. It is abundance, new beginnings. It is just feeling on top of the world, feeling free, um, major accomplishment, accomplishments. And it is another one. Holy crap. So that's one, two, three, um, four five, six, six ones. So major endings, um, kind of holding back, and then it all works out. Goes around, comes around, positive energy, something very exciting is on the horizon for the feminines. Okay, so let's a final message from the universe. What final messages do you have for the feminine? This one. New life. Wow. New life. It's like you're standing up, stretching, taking a deep breath. Uh, after long wait, hibernation. Okay, so essential meaning, birth of new ideas, growth, opportunities, a breath of air, fresh air, life renewing itself. That's, yeah, that's exactly what I'm seeing, especially with the star card regeneration, all the aces, the pages is pointing to a new beginning. So the relationship message, new energy enters old relationships. Okay, so again, that, that sense of this electricity is building um, and I was feeling a momentum building as well new energy enters old relationships and new relationships are bursting with sweetness and vibrancy only encountered when winter gives way to spring this is a time to connect with others and share excitement passion and hearts full of joy this card is very auspicious sign with respect to love and partnerships in all forms nice Right? That's exactly what I was feeling. Oh, perfect. Perfect. All right. I do hope you guys enjoyed this reading. And please leave a comment, like, share, and subscribe. All right. I shall see you in 11 days. Cheers.